Hi everyone, it's Sonia from Angel Light Healing here. Thank you so much for joining me. This is your Twin Flame reading. What does the Divine Masculine want to tell his feminine? As you can see, I've already gone ahead and selected the cards for you. If you are after your own personal reading or a Twin Flame reading, get in contact with me at angellighthealingatoutlook.com. All the details are in the description box below as well. Okay, so the first three cards are from the Moonology Oracle. So let's get started with them. So the Divine Masculine is saying, be bold and make the first move. Okay, so some of the Divine Masculines are building up the courage and the strength to come back after separation and make the first move here. Now, this will definitely be in the form of communication. It will be either a message, um, a visit, physical. Um, it could also be telepathic communication. It could also be um, a phone call. Um, something on social media may be posted, but I feel that the Divine Masculine is coming out from, you know, um, the emotional turmoil, darkness here, and they're building the courage and strength to come back and make this first move. Now, on the flip side, some of the Divine Masculines may be waiting for the Divine Feminine to make the first move towards them. Just take it how it applies to your current situation. Okay, the next card is Capricorn. Uh, it is a new moon in Capricorn, which is Earth energy. It can be also Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. Just take it how it applies. Um, but they're saying here your hard work is paying off. So yes, I feel that the Divine Masculine is, he has spent some time here in contemplation, working on himself, building his finances, clearing the karmics, um, trying to clear debt. Um, it could also be related to family issues with children, um, court, custody, however it applies. But I feel that this new moon card definitely represents a new beginning of some sort. The, um, the ram in this card, these horns, they actually represent uh, an opportunity coming. So there is an opportunity to um, communicate to have an honest and open conversation, to come back from separation, actually commit and form a union. Um, but I feel that, yeah, your Divine Masculine has definitely been working very hard to build his future here, to, um, yeah, to manifest what it is that he's been desiring. Okay, so it will pay off and, and that will be you, Divine Feminine. The next card is another new moon card. There you go. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. So it could be an air sign, um, the masculine or feminine. It could be an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra here. So the divine masculine is saying, even though we may have had, you know, challenges in this connection or difficulty in communication, um, or there's been... Um, you know, lack of understanding here of what I'm, I've been going through as well. I always come back to love and I just want to promote more love in our relationship. I send you loving thoughts, Divine Feminine. Um, as you can see with this card, the Aquarian is actually the water bearer. So she's pouring out her emotions. So the Divine Masculine is also acknowledging here that the Divine Feminine has been um, vulnerable. Look at her. She's in the nude. Yes, she has her face back towards him. Um, but this can also mean too that the divine feminine may have turned her back on her divine masculine. And he's really feeling this. He's feeling um, this separation. He's feeling this tension. But he's saying, divine feminine, I never meant to hurt you. I love you. I care about you. And all I want is, you know, for this love to grow. Um, and I want that new beginning. Okay, the next two cards are from the Magical Messages from the Fairies. This is what your Divine Masculine wants. Look at that. It is so clear. The Fairies join you in celebrating wedded bliss. Your Divine Masculine sees the two of you in union. He sees the two of you joyful. Um, look at what's going on in this card. You've got a new moon there, which is a new beginning. He wants this new beginning. He wants to reconnect. He wants to... Um, you know, feel you physically, um, and he wants to make a commitment. So some of the Divine Masculines are definitely coming back to 
grab hold of their divine feminine, look at them straight in the eye and make a commitment here. Okay. On the flip side, this marriage card can also involve that your divine masculine is working through um, a divorce at the moment. So again, legalities, paperwork, all that kind of stuff. Um, perhaps the divine feminine is in a marriage. So again, karmic situations that need to be, you know, let go of, dealt with here. Still learning and growing. All right, what's the next card, angels? Let's see. Easy does it. Stop trying so hard to control everything and all the doors will open for you. This is something that Divine Masculine has learned is that he does not have control of this situation. He does not want to control his Divine Feminine. Okay, some of the Divine Masculines may be coming across as being controlling or coming across as being, you know, um, in that ego sort of, you know, um, fear-based could be as well. Um, but he's saying here that he doesn't want to control this connection. He doesn't want to control his divine feminine. Perhaps in the past, the divine masculine has tried to, and it just hasn't worked, you know, in his favor because it's the um, path of resistance here. He needs to let go and he needs to just go with the flow, which is what he's learning to do. So he's riding the wave, just like these dolphins are. Okay, this could also be a message to the Divine Feminine to stop controlling this connection too. Just let it go. Give it to God and the universe and have trust and faith. Okay, everything is going to be okay. You've got a beautiful rainbow there. Okay, we have three cards from the um, unicorns. Water. Okay, some of you may be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces here. So it could be the feminine or the masculine. Um, but water primarily does represent emotions here. So the divine masculine has been going through a lot of emotions, overwhelming emotions here. Okay, so he is, you know, taking it easy and trying not to, you know, be so hard on himself and just try and go with the flow. All right. Um, water, he's also looking after, you know, trying to increase, you know, water in his diet too. So he's paying attention here to his body as well. The next card is teamwork. The divine masculine sees that you and him make a great team. Okay. He sees that when he's with you, that you guys are in sync. You have the same wants, the same um, desires, the same goals, uh, the same dreams, you know, the favorite foods you share everything uh, quite similarly because you guys mirror each other but he does see you as um, as his equal here the next card is very soon okay what you're asking for will happen soon in a happy way so your divine masculine is giving you some reassurance divine feminine that you know even though you can't see um, you know everything unfolding right now He's saying to you, be rest assured that you are going to um, get the answers that you need very soon. So whether that will come again through the form of communication, but I feel that um, things will become clear very soon for the Divine Feminine. Okay, the next two cards are from the Angel Therapy. Be willing to forgive. All right, the Divine Masculine. This can go two ways. The divine masculine is asking for forgiveness here from his divine feminine. Please forgive me for any wrongdoing that I may have done towards you, for any words that I've said that were out of anger or, you know, were out of frustration or guilt or resentment. Um, please forgive me for um, words unspoken. Please forgive me for, you know, leaving you out in the cold or making you feel that you weren't worthy. Please forgive me. On the flip side, the Divine Masculine is also doing some forgiveness here of his own. He's forgiving himself. He's forgiving you, Divine Feminine. He's forgiving the karmics. He's forgiving the past. Okay, so he is willing to forgive. Yes, he's open to forgiveness. All right, so he's asking Divine Feminine, are you are you open? There's still healing that needs to be done here. The next card is Ear Chakra. So the Divine Masculine is becoming more aware of 
messages that he's receiving here, divine guidance, downloads that he's receiving, especially during meditation and during dream state, so sleep. He's really um, tuned in here to his own being. So he is paying attention and he is receiving messages from his divine feminine as well. He's becoming more and more sensitive, okay, and he's receiving the answers as well to his prayers. So the Divine Masculine is also asking the Divine Feminine here, pay attention to what I'm telling you. Pay attention, listen, listen very closely. Okay, you will hear me when you're in your relaxed state, when you're sleeping, um, when you're meditating. Okay. Sorry about the dog barking in the background, guys. That's my dog. Um, I think the dog agrees there. <laughs> Okay, the next three cards are from the Romance Angels. Your Divine Masculine sees you as their twin flame. They've been praying for you. They've been visualizing the two of you together. They've been practicing positive and keeping a positive mindset here. So, yes, your Divine Masculine definitely sees you as their twin. Okay, the next card is separation. Yes, definitely for some of you, you are in separation at the moment. And this time apart is actually not a bad thing at all. See it as a positive. See it as a time for healing. See it as a time for growing. See it as a time for really getting to know yourself. Okay, that's what the Divine Masculine is doing. The time apart is just making him long for you even more. Okay, so the next card. Again, forgiving and learning. Yes, the Divine Masculine again is asking for forgiveness here. He understands that you know, it's so powerful to forgive and to let go and to move on. It's a learning curve for him. Okay, some of the Divine Masculines may still be sitting in um, resentment or anger or frustration connected to the past, um, but they're slowly coming out of that and they're saying that they're learning how to um, forgive and to let go of, you know, past hurts. All right, so what are they saying? As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present. Yeah, so again, the Divine Masculine is learning that the more he lets, does let go, the more love he can promote in his, in his life. Okay, and especially with his connection. Okay, so we have two Angel Answer cards here for Divine Feminine. I have two Angel Answers. What is it that you want to ask your Divine Masculine? Is there a specific question that you want to know? The answers are here. So I'll get you to take a moment, think about that question. All right, what is it? What are the answers? Okay, the first one is not the right time. So the answer is no, it's never going to happen. Now's not the right time. Okay, however, the next card, what is it? Trust. This is teaching you to have trust and faith in this connection in this situation and in your divine masculine. Okay, divine feminine, now might not be the right time because it's not gonna work out right now. You both aren't healed. You both have still growing and learning and healing to do here. You know, cutting ties with the past, cutting ties with karmics. Trust, have trust and faith. Okay, so what is the number? Let's roll these dice and see what the number is. And we got a four and a two, which equals the number six. Okay, so six may represent the month of June. It could be the sixth day of a month. It could also be a lucky number for some. It could be your house number if you add it all up. Um, yeah, it's very, very definitely symbolic um, for some of you out there, the number six. So if that applies to you, great. Um, if it doesn't, then don't worry about it, okay? It wasn't meant for you, but six is definitely symbolic. All right, guys, well, that is your twin flame reading. What does the divine masculine want to tell the feminine? If you are after your own personal reading or a twin flame reading, get in contact with me at angellighthealing at outlook.com. And um, also, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel now. And many angel blessings to you all. Thanks, guys.